north by northwest. The quintessential Russian picture. Or classic. And the movie that we've seen the history of cinema, loved by audiences, it's uh, number 99 or so. Among the most popular movies ever. When you see a documentary on the history of cinema, you see images with Cary Grant uh, chased by the airplane. Uh, or the iconic episode when they are hanging uh, <laughs> at the statues of the, of the American president and um, Cary Grant has a hand uh, on the top and with the other hand he's, he's uh, keeping her she's another iconic figure Eva Marie Sand. There's also James Mason, Martin Landau, um, leading a fabulous cast. So, this is there for generations to admire. An Alfred Hitchcock movie, and one of the best. Um, we read, and I always recommend this. Adventures in a Screenplay, uh, a fabulous, probably, in my opinion, the best one. It's only read five or six on, on cinema, on the history of cinema, and cinema in itself. Uh, William Goldman, he refers to the notion of Hitchcock movies and uh, director movies. There was this thing, it still is, I guess, uh, praising Hitchcock. So it's, it, it, it doesn't matter what else, but it's a Hitchcock movie. So with that, and Goldman argues in this wonderful book that once they obsessed with the with the idea, Hitchcock started making lesser movies. Birds, I think, is mentioned as a one of the well known no, but, um, less fabulous <coughs> productions. <coughs> <coughs> uh, so that's wrong because it's it's the director, but the producer is important, the cast, uh, the writer. <laughs> Special effects uh, nowadays make them actually in in Adventures uh, in a Squid Trade, which is I think more than 20 years old, so an era when special effects could be important and Jaws is mentioned, uh, but not like today when that's all they do in Avatar. Um, so, Hitchcock was known to be uh, less than kind, unkind, maybe cruel, we can say. I think we can, yeah, we definitely can say it was cruel today, different standards and all that, but to uh, his past, he referred to actors and actresses as cattle, I think, at one point. Well, he, he also joked that Stuart, you know, the customs that asked him, uh, what's his business or something, and, and he said the goose flesh or something, in the sense that he made famous psycho, famous shower scene, that it's care of the incident. Not my Northwest is also mentioned in Adventures in the screen trade, 
with a glorious finale, let's not. <laughs> but why not? I mean, who's watching this and then who's watching this and uh, doesn't know? When so much is happening in, in 30 seconds, you move from being on the edge of the, uh, of the mountain. We were talking Rushmore, yeah. And uh, 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 calamity is about to happen to the bunk of a uh, sleeping car in a, uh, in a train. So, this is a film where you can you know, look at the plot, at the, at the superb acting, and, and uh, how it spills out. I was reading a book, uh, uh, a book on the shortlist for for the Booker Prize. Was it Satin Island? And you know, something else. And the idea of, of Cary Grant, his character, moving through the picture, uh, thought to be someone else, is is before. So it, it, it's it's there. It's towering, as I said, with the images of that uh, uh, small plane uh, that attacks. Cary Grant, well, his character, uh, and um, <coughs> so much more. It's it's up there with Casablanca. With uh, uh, well, maybe it's not in the top ten with uh, Lords of Arabia and uh, some like it hot, but. Still, it's one of the best movies ever made. A classic, absolute classic.